Hello, I am the Ronan Bald, and welcome to twitch.tv slash Ronan Bald livestream. Our first error of the day. I expect many. What year is this? What the hell? What's going on? I don't know. It's some Jordy put up there. Ladies, gentlemen, boys, and girls, if you are unaware, we have not played Kerbal Space Program in years? Year? Year? Maybe there's an S on there. But I have uh, played a little bit of Kerbal here. By the way, those those legs. There we go. Look at look, look at her. Him. Them. L look at them. Look at them. Hey, them gams, huh? They go on for ages. So here's what's going on, friends, lovers, true. We are playing Kerbal Space Program. We're going to start up a brand new career mode, and we're going to take it to Duna. We're going to do it in hard mode. I'm going to have the ability to uh, quick save and quick revert, but I'm not going to use it unless the game breaks. You know, we'll go with that premise until I get frustrated and start using it. But that's the premise. Black Vectum with six months uh, of a subscription. I'm excited for KSP. Let's go all skill, no luck. There is some RNG to Kerbal Space Program, mainly in whether or not the game will fucking play. Or crash, or, you know, th things suddenly explode. I don't know, maybe things have changed. I doubt that they've changed. I have already modded out my Kerbal installation. You can't play Kerbal the way that it looked in 2011. So you might notice that Kerbin is a little effed up there. It's a little, that's not how Kerbin's supposed to, supposed to go and look, but that's how it looks from this screen exclusively. For today, we're gonna be starting a career. We're gonna need the right flag. Which one should we choose? Let's see, there's the KSP KGB. You know what, let's go with the Ronin Pawn flag that's right there that I already, I I'm prepared. Difficulty options, we're going to hard, allow quick loading, because the game has a tendency to break. So what's the name of this thing? You click on it, if it passes over another clickable object, you're no longer typing in it. First bug in KSP, I can't, I can't delete it, I, it won't. Um, maybe if I click on, let's if we just go to career, and then, oh, I've reset everything, oh, fuck it. We'll, we'll just start anew, it's still got that, we go to career, we go to normal, we go to hard mode, we allow quick loading. I've already broken the game, and, it's, and we haven't even started it yet. Porn, are you sure Good you UI. want to do this? You left KSP, the Kerbals were happy, safe, and free. Three-sided symmetry was no longer killing Kerbals. We'll, we'll build in quad-sided symmetry from now on. Hardcore, hard, hardcore, deuce. Do, deuce, do, how do you do a, a de, de, deus, hardcore deus ex, the machina. Ah, the game begins. Wow, peace escape. Don't, don't, please, stop. I don't want to be any closer to this than I already am. I don't, nobody wants XCOM 2 on veteran. No, nobody who's sitting in this chair wants XCOM 2 on veteran. I hope you've installed some contract packs, this pony. I haven't. It's gonna be Kerbal Space Program with a lot of, well, it, it looks a lot better, doesn't it? So we got Scatterer, we've got Eve, you know, Environmental Visual Enhancements with um, the Astronomer's Pack part part of it. I got rid of the, the Skybox for space because it's ugly. Um, I'm Gene Kierman, Flight Director, and your guide for this quick introduction. This is the Space Center. From here you can, and then there's a right mouse button, and don't forget you use the arrow keys. That's good. That'll, that'll get me real. Mm-hmm. That's, yeah, thanks. I got it. We're good. You're so cute these days. Oh, thank you. I'm wearing, I changed shirts so that I would look more like, you know, I care. I'm not wearing any anything below the waist, but you know, for, for what you can see, huh? Looking pretty good, right? He moisturizes. Uh -huh. Mission controls. Please make a selection. We're going to gather scientific from double data up, and we're going to launch our first vessel. Those are the two things we're gonna do. We're gonna do them at once. I'm going to try and keep myself from doing too many missions at once. I have a tendency to be like, ah, I know this game, I'll do this, that, and the other thing, and then everything goes wrong. Remember, this is hardcore mode. If somebody dies, they're gone. If we run out of money, the money's gone. If we don't have any science, there's no science. It's, it's hardcore mode. We could legitimately go bankrupt if I don't play decently well. Remember to bring photon torpedoes. Okay, well, hang on, let me just check. Uh, photon torpedoes. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look like we've got those yet. I think they're unlocked somewhere up there, but we'll, we'll get to them. Okay, so, step one, this is Werner von Kerman, um, and this, these are the instructions for Kerbal Space, and it's not enough. You don't, he doesn't tell you half the things that you need to know in order to control all the fucking things. But it doesn't matter because that's being a poor element of game design doesn't even count in comparison to this, ladies and gentlemen. 
I started up a career mode to test to get familiar with and remind myself how to play the game and I checked out this part when I saw it there I was like oh that looks cool and I right clicked on it and I went through okay oh it's got its own ablator it's like okay you gave a part to, to new players they, they don't have to worry about ablators like they, it'll ease them in what a good idea and then I scrolled down and scrolled down and scrolled down and realized this thing doesn't have any reaction wheels this doesn't have you're not gonna be able to fucking fly something that has this on the tip of it if you're a new player, this isn't for new players, this shouldn't be here. The likelihood of you actually flying a ship to orbit without reaction wheels while all you have is the fucking swivel is, it's not, it's a, it's not good, it's not gonna be easy, but you're introducing new players to the game with shit that they shouldn't be using. You, they're gonna get in and they're gonna try to use it, they're gonna be like, this game is ridiculous, I can't do this, this is impossible. I keep flipping the ship over when I need fins all over the fucking thing, I don't know how to make these things. But it is a cool new part, and it breaks off in a perfect sphere, and it's pretty neat. It's a making history part, they didnt have reaction wheels back in the day, lol. Okay, so it's because of the DLC that you guys have gifted me. Alright. I, I can't say fair enough, because it shouldn't be, it should be unlocked once you get to, like, reaction wheel tiers and shit. Because you're just not gonna make a ship that's... <clears throat> We're going to, we need, we need our first ship. All it needs to do is go out there, collect a little science, fly off, do we have any science? Well, we've got a parachute that will probably be helpful. Do we have any? What? What? What do I have to work? We've got science. All right, we got goo. So we don't got to do anything crazy or special here. We'll just have you and and three uh, three more. Are you penetrating? I don't I don't know how much I'm gonna care about. I mean, look, they've, it's embedded into the top of the thing. So yes, you're you're penetrating. And then we'll stage it. It's gonna be uh, use all all the rockets at once, and then there's a parachute. Um, Parachute might not be able to, like, sustain the weight of those empty things coming back down, but that's for someone else to worry about. Is Houston around? I don't, I don't, I haven't seen him since we stopped doing Harv and Pawn. I think he got, he got involved in a really bad, like, Colombian coffee route. It, 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 I, I don't, we'll see. We don't need fins, who needs fins for this sort of a thing? What we could do, however, is we could, uh, use the new Delta V stuff. Huh? Ah, huh, the new Delta V thing it shows you the interesting information about the Delta V. That's great, except for as you build something, if I, if I take you off and put it back on and a little bit lower, it's still up this time. But these things like pop in and out of their own volition and then like one of them has some information but it doesn't show you the other one and you can't hold it out. Even if you go over into the Delta V settings and tell it show all and da -da -da, it still won't do it. It's just it's bad UI design and I'll be complaining is what's going to happen. Uh, and Mosaic Task Force gifting a sub to HOC Gaming. I should have told Harv that I was... We haven't been... We haven't talked in a long time. Just COVID and stuff and distance and... Just the heart is growing fonder, though. So this is gonna be 001. Uh, you know... Uh, no... The no biggie. The no biggie Mark 1. We don't expect there to be a Mark 2. And we're gonna need a pilot for it. Uh, and I think I will have a pilot. Alright, Jeb... It's entirely possible you'll die here. I want to make sure that Jeb at some point dies. I don't want to rush anything, you know? I don't want to actually get anywhere in this game. Is that it, though? Are we good? Just those rockets go off, and then we do a parachute, and then we come back down. No crowd. Good thing you've got a log. It's... Thank you. Thank you. Um... I, I think it's a reasonable size. I haven't had many complaints. Are we good? We're good. It's just, you go out, you do the thing. Just get out there and do it, you know? It's just hard mode. If I kill somebody, they're permanently dead. And if I run out of money, then that's the end of the program. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I don't, ooh, what was that sound? Did you hear that? Did you hear someone dropping a an ice cube into my glass of scotch? I I, I really, really like scotch. First things we want to do is a crew report. I won't use that unless I, you know, once I've already done the thing. So crew report me. Uh, from the launch pad, that's worth 0.9 science. And then you just get out, Jeb, EVA from the, yeah, from here. Let's do an EVA report. I don't think a space boot was entirely necessary to get here, was it? We wouldn't have put you on the pad without one, so quit lying. And then while you're in there, why don't you go ahead and take the data out of it? This is an annoyance that, my God, we still have to do. Kerbal Space Program 1.9, and we still have to like get out, take the data out, and then we can get back in, and then we're able to take another crew report. For the love of tits, for the love of tits, everyone, um, and and most people do enjoy them. 
pop one of these. In fact, let's pop one in the back. We'll pop uh, Observe the Mystery Goo. Goo doesn't seem to be doing much right now. It's it's busy. The goo is busy. I guess I guess I just hit spacebar then. Uh, Bon? Houston! He's here! Yeah, it's totally me. Uh, well, what are you doing with your hand? I, uh, just, I feel like I, I might sneeze at any time. I don't want, uh, there's a pandemic going around. Yeah, I had it. That's where I've been all this time. Okay, all right. Am I doing it? Is, yeah, the, the right mic is open at the right time? Yes, it is. Good to see that you're still being professional and keeping up the fourth wall. We, the, I, I thought we knocked that down with the last spacecraft use. Uh, do you want to count down? I, I suppose so. I don't really have any prepared jokes or anything. Okay, I've got one. Really? Okay, okay go ahead then. All right, uh, what, what do you... I, I actually don't have a joke either. In three... Two, one, fire! Holy shit! Okay, I meant to. I meant to like. I was gonna thrust limit those. I didn't thrust limit. Let's get some readings quickly. So observe the mystery grew while well in flight. Thank you. It jiggles and wobbles and, and flibbles and flobbles. It does. Give me a crew report while well, we're up here. Crew report. The shores look inviting, and you watch the waves roll into the coast. That is where waves tend to go. Is there, what else is there? There's nothing else? There's nothing else. I should have also steered us to a water landing. That would have been a good idea. You know what? All right, here's what I'll do. I will fly us there using the power, the power of, um, heart, sailor moon, power of fire, wind, water, using the power of, of drag. I will fly us toward the, I'm actually doing it. Can you see the coast moving there? I'm actually using drag to get us there. I mean, also the planet is spinning under us, but not that much. I, it's me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Now, now, now. Nearly, almost there. Maybe. Um, what's the height that we get? It's two thousand. Um, what's the above the surface? We're very near to. Um, how fast are we going? One hundred and thirteen. All right, let's just go ahead and pop that parachute. Let's turn the SAS off. Let's maybe flip this for you. That's gonna be an issue. Here we go. Parachute is away. Our first craft coming down at a at a low, low speed of too fast for things not to explode. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Gonna does he does he fight it? Does he cut it? Gonna take take pollution down to zero. How you doing in there, Jeb? By the way, how's this um, cockpit looks nice these days? Did they did they update the interiors of the cockpit? That's a lot more. Flippy switches and buttons than I recall. Where's the um, radar altitude? There it is. So we're down to 9.3 meters per second. Surely these empty tanks will be fine when they impact the ground in three, two, one. They were fine. And there's more goo to observe. There's always more goo to observe. Okay, the goo accumulates near the water facing side of the container from Kerbin's shores. All right, we're on Kerbin's shores now. Uh, then you should be able to do me an EVA report from Kerbin's Shores, which should be different than what we already had. Uh, simultaneously, if I uh, take the data out and then reboard, then I should be able to get a crew report from Kerbin's Shores landed. Did we do a thing? Did we collect all the, I think we collected all the science. No experience. Collect all. We did it. We did it. We did our first mission. Congratulations, Spawn. Thank you, Houston. Lovely to be working with you again. You're gonna have to get some better coffee in here. I, I figured as much. I did figure as much. Let's recollect this craft and, uh, you know, celebrate that we did a first this boring mission that you, you gotta do. I didn't kill anybody. You didn't think that that was gonna happen. Holy shit, we got 17.6 science back from that. And we brought back the whole damn craft, which means most of the cost besides the fuel. Yeah, and Jebediah... You know, he got an XP point and learned nothing from it. That's that's why I don't like Jeb. He, he tends to not learn anything about anything. Son of a bitch. He's very... He's just full of himself, too. And, you know, there, there should only be one of us in the space program who's that full of himself. The position's taken, Jeb. Hey! <laughs>